What's up guys, it's Rob here, and today we're looking at Robinhood stock, which has been soaring lately. So let's take a look at the chart. Today you can see we made highs of $85, which is putting the past couple of days to shame, right? I mean, people thought yesterday's spike was big. Uh, that's nothing compared to what we just saw today. We're currently up 34% on the day, and it's not, we haven't even been trading for an hour yet. So this is pretty incredible what Robinhood has been doing, and it leaves a lot of people wondering, what the heck is going on with Robinhood, right? Why are we rising so much today again after the huge rise we saw yesterday? So the first reason that this stock is really going up is because it has become the number one talked about stock on Wall Street Bets. You can see right here, it has moved up six places to the number one spot. It beat SPY, right? SPY is usually the number one talked about stock on Reddit. Now it's a Robinhood. So that's very impressive for a stock to do that. And uh, that is part of the reason why this stock is rising so much, right? It's the number one talked about stock on Reddit. A lot of people are being exposed to it who may not have known it was public. And they are choosing to buy it because they see that it is going up in price. And they think that they can maybe catch a catch a ride on this stock and uh, make some money on it. And if they bought up until this point, right, then they are correct. Unless they're buying up at these highs, uh, then they're down a little bit. But if they were buying any time yesterday or even this morning or in pre-market, they are up quite a bit. So that's very impressive. And uh, it's a it's a big reason why a lot of people are finding this stock and buying it. So that's the number one reason. But the second reason that has a lot of people talking about, uh, that a lot of people are talking about, is that Kathy Wood just revealed a new purchase Tuesday afternoon of 89,000 shares. And that has people very interested, right? Because Kathy Wood had been buying these past couple of days. She'd been buying on IPO day, and she was buying a couple days after that. And then it was revealed that she bought even yesterday at these elevated prices of around 40 something dollars. So that has a lot of people thinking that Robinhood is still potentially a good buy, even at these higher prices. And we can see actually right now we are spiking down quite a bit. This is not great for a lot of Robinhood holders. But honestly, unless you got in in the last hour, uh, you're still up on quite a bit of money, even if you're selling here. So this is really not that bad news. Although you can see the third catalyst for why the stock is soaring so much is that there has been exceptionally high volume with this stock, right? A lot of people, like I said, are getting interested in this. So if you actually look back at say, uh, well, yeah, even this chart really shows it. This is the volume graph right here. Let me get myself out of the way. This is the volume graph right here. And you can see these volume bars are massive compared to the volume bars that we saw yesterday around here. So this is just showing basically that a lot of new people are interested in Robinhood stock who uh, may not have known about it before, or at least some of the big names, some of the big players, some of the institutional investors might be now considering purchasing Robinhood and actually acting on that consideration, right? Because this volume is somewhat crazy, right? I mean, there's so many people buying this stock. It can't just be retail. You can't think that retail is doing all of this on their own. Uh, especially so early in the day. A lot of people might, who are retail traders might be at work or just getting ready for work. And you've got to think that there are some institutional players leading to this massive spike in volume. This is actually a weird bar with uh, very little. So that's strange. Uh, that does lead me to think that there's maybe some algorithmic trading going on here. And the third re or the fourth reason that you can see Robinhood has been rising is it is a momentum play. At this point, people have started expecting Robinhood to rise, right? Uh, over the past couple of days, it wasn't doing too much. And when a stock goes up like this, right, there are a couple of things it can do. It can stay steady if, uh, you know, typically that happens if there's some fundamental change in the company and then the institutions instantly hear about it and move the price up. And then that's the new price of the company based off the fundamentals. But with a situation like Robinhood, the reason it was moving up was more based on hype. And that hype has actually been exaggerated over the past couple of days. It's become even more hypey. So there is increasing reason for people who are buying this because of the hype to want to buy more of this stock, especially as the price continues to go up, right? Now, I don't know if the stock will continue to go up in price, right? It seems like we're taking a bit of a dip off these highs of $85. We're still uh, up very close, close towards $60. And that is still very impressive, uh, very impressive gains for today to up 26% still, even after a somewhat substantial drop in stock price. So that just shows that a lot of people really are interested in Robinhood. And uh, even these prices, you know, it's not like everyone is panic selling and just getting out. There's still pretty big volume. There's still quite a few buyers of this stock. And over the long term, if I had to guess where this stock was going, I couldn't give you an exact estimate of where I think it will go. But I don't think it will drop too far below $40. I think 40 is a pretty safe floor for this stock. After all the hype, I really just don't see this stock uh, because it is a strong fundamental company. I don't see it dropping too far below $40. Now, over the long term, hey, if this hype continues, right, you know, this is just the first hour of trading. Uh, we haven't even had the first hour of trading today. So 
it could go quite a bit higher. It could beat uh, it could beat out today's highs of eighty five dollars. It potentially could. You know, if there's a lot more momentum and a lot more volume, we would need to see uh, some new buyers stepping in. Basically, I think that this stock could potentially push higher, but I mean that's going to be tough, right? After hitting eighty five and coming all the way down to sixty. Uh, this might be the temporary peak for this stock, right? I don't think we're going too far below 40, but I don't necessarily know if we're going to beat out the highs. It's possible, but I wouldn't guarantee it. And something that you guys can do if you're interested in purchasing Robinhood stock is, and you're potentially running low on capital is you can use the referral link in the description of this video, right? There's a Weeble referral link in the description of this video. You can use that to get two free stocks valued up to $2,300. If you're interested in that, feel free to use it. Get up to $2,300 free. All you have to do is make an account and you get a free stock and then deposit five bucks and you get another free stock.